Hello everyone, and we're looking at Consciousazine, and a few people buzzing there. Look at that. Alright, so we're on the Your Natural Paradise page, and we're going to look at some edible flowers. I've made this page by myself. There's a lot of information about gardening and all sorts of techniques. And then halfway down is edible flowers and plants. So here's some really good websites. Earthweeds, botanicalguides.com, www.hort.edu, liveandfeel.com. There's lots of others down here. Now, I'm just going to increase the screen size so we can put it up like this. So there's many edible flowers that I've come across. Um, you know, I came into this having no real clue. Uh, about families of plants and you know what you could eat and for instance say like you wouldn't want to eat a um, blossom off a uh, tomato vine but you can eat a blossom off a um, squash vine so there's heaps there's a load of edible flowers um, and I've done quite a lot of research not for years, I just research quickly and there's quite a few links and you can see what's edible and uh, you know a little bit about it at least. For instance, um, dandelions, you know, their greens are, have three times as much vitamin uh, A than spinach and no, three times as much vitamin K as spinach and five times as much vitamin A. Yeah. So you'll learn a lot on this page. There's the dandelion greens. They're actually being used as a medicine at Nimbin, uh, which is the Australian anti-marijuana prohibition town and also just a very healthy place and I do my shopping there. There's some nasturtium. You can eat the leaves and the flowers. It tastes peppery. So there's a lot on here. <laughs> now I really encourage everybody to go out there and gorilla grow um, because if you've seen my $30 bandit series which you can YouTube $30 bandit I'm just gorilla growing now I just recently done one for uh, one gypsy cannon and she's not allowed to grow food she can't just go out there and grow she needs to go ask for permission from the covenant <laughs> from the black alliance covenant and um, her local sect and um, before she can even plant any plants in a community garden so I just done a $30 bandit uh, community gardens uh, video for Gypsy Cannon now there's lots of flowers, there's a couple of um, eclectic flower posts on here and I go into a lot of plants here and I'll continue to do so for instance, a lot of people know about this toothache plant. Now I call it toothache plant one because I discovered another Australian plant, um, Bindens spilosa, which apparently is similar to effect in this. Now I haven't eaten it yet myself to test. Um, I have tried this Spilanthes spray, extract spray, but I haven't eaten that plant either. But yeah, apparently the Bindens spilosa, which I also have a video on, which is down the page here, is um, the same thing. You can eat that flower, isn't that awesome? Now I really like eating like, good stuff like this, like there's antioxidants and it's Chinese cuisine, look at that. I really like this website, uh, this is Earthwinds, Eat Weeds, oh another one. So they've got parts so look, they mention several flowers now I've, I've done a video on this as well you can eat clover what I forage on the way to the shop <laughs> so there's many good links here 
and lots of uh, plants discussed. And let me take you to, you can eat those, they don't taste good I think, allegedly they're carnations. Now, you can eat these. This post here. Uh, yeah, big list of edible flowers. Must be this one. Wow, that looks nice. You have to choose edible flowers so they're helping you as well. So there's quite a lot mentioned. As you can see, we're only halfway down the scroll. That's fine. Any more? There's an edible flowers e uh, Google book that I found really good. Look at this, really good. So it's um, taking you through a lot of stuff here. This is a scholarly article. Look how big this is. And yeah, so there's plenty of edible flowers. Apparently these ones don't taste too good. Oh no, sorry. I can't remember. <laughs> I thought it was the snap dragons. It's the fish. There's a uh, cobbler's peg, Bindens pillows, the toothache plant too. Now this one grows as a, a, a noxious, invasive, pervasive weed. Um, but, uh, and you get these stuck on you when you're an Australian kid playing around the bush. And um, apparently if you eat the flowers and the leaves of this one, it's the same thing. It numbs, it's called the toothache plant because it numbs uh, your, your mouth. So it's kind of like an anaesthetic. More flowers, plants, eclectic post. You can eat tulips, petunias, radish. Radish are a good one to grow because you can grow them really quickly. Sometimes like a month and you can harvest, you know, 20 days, some people say. Well, there's an interesting tree where fruit grows off the tree trunk. Japuticabas. Japuticabas. Yeah. So there's a lot here. Oh, and I didn't realize that yukons, some yukas uh, are edible. Sorry, not yukons, yukas. Some yukas are edible, but I haven't researched into depth on that yet. So if, if you see there isn't something me saying, oh, it's for sure edible and this type and that type, you should do your own research because it means I haven't finished that post yet or anything. I'm just, uh, you know, I had to be busy and I was studying or something. Um, and water hyacinths. So there's a lot mentioned here. Um, I like this. Yeah, some stuff down here. Look at this. Let's increase the screen size. Screen size. Control plus on the keyboard. In Malaysia, natural resources raised income of the bottom 40% of rural households by 7.1% a year over three decades. So I agree, when natural resources are well managed, they can generate income that can be used to improve health, infrastructure and education in the whole of society. And here's my playlist, Growing Chervil in Near Dark Conditions. That one ended up dying not from um, the conditions, it was fine to grow in those dark conditions. Um, that was early in the morning a bit, there was a little bit more light that comes a bit later. and. Um, it died just from the drought that we've had here recently, and yeah, I couldn't water it enough there. And only one share. Oh, it's such a good page. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that. And there's many, uh, many flowers that you can eat, and we want to create a paradise. Why are we always creating this inward diversification and this, you know, through these monopolizations of these oligarchies and oligopolies, these uh, businesses and stuff? And you know, we are at the upper edge at the upper ends of the uh, echelons of the monetary system, like I say on Natural Remedies Guru page. Now, I like this diagram because this picture speaks a thousand words. 
so to speak. So upper echelons of the consolidatory system, these guys own all of these guys and then it probably would have more circles around it. So you can imagine this is oligarchization. You know, oligopolies and monopolies in industries and so forth, and the upper echelons of the monetary system, the fiat counterfeited disincarnate corporate implemented fiat system. What's my what's my cure? Well, on uh, another page, uh, Golden Age on Gear, I say, well, in my opinion, seeds of the new gold, and because people are talking about, well maybe going back to the gold standard or if there's going to be a new world currency or something like this. I say we grow. Now I've started growing food everywhere. Food plants only. I like to plant a lot of perennials. Now I'm fortunate because I have many great friends who have contributed to this because they can see the light in this work. To plant the trees and anybody can use them and I'm even watering them. I've had uh, people at university talk to me and people um, I've planted a lot of plants around here at university and I've had a lot of them talk to me and people have been interested and I've seen them gawking <laughs> from a distance, going, reading the labels, trying to see what plants are there. And yeah, it's really good to see. Um, so, you know, uh, just plant to grow and you, you grow yourself too. But I encourage you all to grow and don't worry about what the covenant says. We don't want to wind up like this bullshit here. cost of doing business my eyes. I call that Fusel de Kaisen, which is a word I made up from my amalgamative lexicon note in bensnotes.weebly.com, note 45 amalgamative lexicon. Now, in here I go into Fusel de Kaisen, you see, yeah. Used in a sentence, and I wrote this, <laughs> the baby boomers are great at Fusel de Kaisen. Because that has been my experience, and I'm entitled to be able to say that. Fusel de Kaisen means to steal the equity of the future generations, stealing intergenerational equity or hindering it, taken from de Kaisen, translated equity to Greek. Because we don't have a word for this taking of future generations equity, yet it's being done so it need be able to be encapsulated in a word for adding meaning and ease of use for small mouth noises. Okay, so I don't want to end up like this in Fusel de Kaisen mode. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make it a masterpiece. Get some food trees in there. <laughs> Variety, genetic diversity. Not this inward diversity, uh, always creating a denser, smaller, harder reality. Um, we want to expand. And um, it's funny, it brings people together too. So I hope you all enjoyed that and there's so many edible flowers. I wish you all guys would you know, have a look here on this page. Um, you know, there's so many awesome plants. Like this Katuk sweet leaf. You can take cuttings and it tastes a bit like chickpeas or, and a bit peanut buttery maybe, like that snow pea sort of taste. And you can eat the leaves and those leaves taste like that. And you can just take a cutting and, and you can put it in water, probably without rooting hormone too, and just grow it back into a tree. So that's incredibly useful. And that's incredibly propagating as well. You can give it to friends and, yeah. You can imagine how we could just get into abundance so easily and grow vineous weeds like stinging nettle and, and other things like mushe plant and all these other ones. There's many, many things here mentioned which are really good for us. And you can also eat the pest control flowers. These are pest control flowers, marigolds, and you can eat them and they're good for you. <laughs> they have antioxidants which means they make you live longer essentially. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I encourage you to grow and have a look at this page, definitely. Thanks guys. It's all for you because, and for me, I like to be able to come here and just quickly press on the links. So I've done, you know, I don't have to keep going to look this up every time. Yeah. So enjoy. Benjamin Kallenberg from ConsciousZine.com